is the dynamic super speedy backfield of the Mountaineers running behind an offensive line that is disciplined. There are three Pennsylvania guys including the tough center we talked about Dan Moses. Here comes the noise and White has five wide receivers on third and eight. It's a little screen complete but trying to navigate traffic and get near the first down marker is Slayton. B Botts is out there because he gets the rivalry and that was great to see him involved here early and playing with a lot of emotion and desire. They've run the ball three times for one yard, so White will go deep. Has a man open, it's Slayton with the catch. Had to come back to the football, but collects it inside the 30. The safety is going to walk up, and he's going to stay man-to-man -man here. And I think this is a mismatch, and this is a matchup every single time. Pat White, the guy that everybody thinks can't throw. White looks for Slayton. Cuts it back. And he fights for a first down near the 15. And West Virginia would have a great chance of winning that three-way tie and getting the BCS bid out of this league. This time, Slayton to the house. The blocks that he picked up from his left tackle, Stancheck, right here on Blades, and then Moses, we talked about being able to pick up a block on session, and the next thing you know, look how it opened up. <laughs> Revis, by the way, one of the better co cover corners this year in college football. Mountaineers three for three on third down so far. White loops it to the end zone. Touchdown. One more time, it's Steve Slayton who reaches the end zone for the second time. This guy can throw the ball, folks. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, number five and White can throw the football. The end zone, shocker. White throw it as a man wide open. It's Slayton. He doesn't lose foot races. What a first half. Just when you think the Panthers have momentum, White, another perfect throw. But one-on-one, -on -one, this is a matchup that Pat White will take every time. And I don't care who's covering Steve Slayton, but how about the throw mm. right over the shoulder again to number 10 for the touchdown. And Slayton bounces it. Gets the corner, gets 10 yards. Got my hands full Saturday. <laughs> They flip it out there to Slayton. Looks for the crease. His patient dives across the 40 and has a first down. Not that I spent a lot of time in the library. In Boulder. Mountaineers pin back after the nice punt. But Slayton looking to improve the field position in a hurry. Look out, Steve Slayton is collared over there. A flag flies. They'll tack on 15 to the run as Revis got him by the face mask. That's a nice way to improve that field position. Watch to the left of your screen. Tommy Campbell coming way inside, making it for an easy block for Renaud. And then it's just speed to the corner. And very fortunate that I know Revis came up with a wow. nasty face mask. But <laughs> ripped the whole hat off. Yeah, but that's one of the things that Rich Rodriguez does a good job of exploiting. This time it's Slayton. Bye-bye. For the lineman to get to the second level, Dan Moses gets to the second level. Great turnout block by Jake Figner on Clermont, but it was Dan Moses' block that sealed the hole. And when you have Steve Slayton, and I don't even want to guess how fast he is, <laughs> but you give him the ball, there's no, you can't catch yeah. it. Two touchdown runs. Two touchdowns receiving. And West Style is fast in a straight line, though. Just like this guy, Slayton. Does he have one more touchdown in him? <laughs> Maybe he's finally starting to show some fatigue. Slayton stopped down inside the 15. We have seen this the entire second half after catching the ball for big yardage. Now he just sets up that left shoulder, right? <laughs> into Clint's session. He wants to stay in bounds and keep the clock moving. Got to play him next year and every year after that. Yeah, they're going to take That's class move by Rich Rodriguez. So the final play of the night will be a one-yard loss for Pat White. But West Virginia will finish with 641 yards in total offense. Even the coach getting into the chest bump stuff. He did about three of them. Oh, man. Big win.
for one set in the Panthers a fourth straight loss with Louisville coming in here next for Steve Slayton perhaps New York is a Heisman finalist at least rushes for 220 130 receiving a Wrangler five star player of the game again the first Mountaineer ever over 100 rushing and receiving he scored four touchdowns. 